Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the grades of concrete. In this lecture, I am going to discuss the different grades of concrete and their uses. The grade of concrete basically means the strength of concrete. And the concrete strength depends on four main constituents. That is the cement, the water, the fine aggregate or we can say the sand and the coarse aggregate. So depending on these four constituents by changing their con content we can achieve the different strength of the concrete or the different grades of the concrete. So these four constituents of the concrete plays an important role for the strength of the concrete and also depends on the water to cement ratio. This, is, this also plays an important role for the strength of the concrete. If you are going to increase the water cement ratio, then your strength will decrease. Your strength will going to decrease. And when, when you are going to decrease the water cement ratio, then your strength will increase. So this also plays an important role for to defining the grades of the concrete. Now, which grade of concrete should I use for the construction? It depends on the your building. If it's like a small home or small building, then you don't need to place or use the high strength concrete but you can do it with the normal concrete but if you're designing the bridges or flyovers or something like tunnel then you must have to use the high strength concrete and you have to design the concrete mix for that now coming to the grade of concrete the grade of concrete is generally represented by m and with the numeric value for example m5 or m7.5 or m 10, M15, these are different grades of concrete, M20, M25, these are the different grades of concrete where this M, this M represents the mix, mix of concrete, shows the mixture of concrete and this 25, this 20, this 15, 10, 7.5, 5, this represents the strength of the concrete and the unit of megapascal or you can say in the unit of Newton per square millimeter which is same thing as megapascal so this means that M5 is a low strength concrete it shows low strength concrete because 5 is less than 7.5 so the strength increases is, is we are going to increase the number for example M25 is the highest strength here is compared to the above ones so M25 means the mix is the strength of 25 megapascal or 25 Newton per square millimeter similarly this strength can be achieved with the with the nominal mix design it means that i have specific ratio for this strength for the m5 to get the m5 we can use this ratio it means the one is the cement content this shows the fine aggregate or we can see the sand and this strength shows the coarse aggregate so we, by using this ratio in our concrete mix we can achieve the M5 concrete. Similarly for M7.5 we can use this ratio 1 ratio 4 ratio 8. For M10.5 we can use this ratio. For M15 we can use this ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 the most common one for normal buildings we use mostly this one and M20 it use this one. Similarly for M25 we are going to use this ratio you can see here that the ratio is being decreasing as we are going to the high strength concrete and the strength of the concrete is called are called as the nominal mix because these all are called nominal mix because they depend on this ratio if, if you are achieving this ratio you can achieve your desired strength but after the M30 concrete are greater than the M30 you cannot define this concrete by the ratio but you but you have to design the mix for this M30 or greater than M30 for example M45, M60 so what you should do you should have to design the mix for this concrete and it's called is the design mix you have to make specific pozzolanic uh, uh, material like the fly ash or silica film you should add and you should also play with the super precisor to have workability and you need a special, special mix for this one so that's why it's called the design mix while these are called as the nominal mix nominal mix 
because they don't need design but with this zero shoe you can achieve your desired strength but m30 are greater than m30 you must have to design your mix and also one important thing is that the column and the foundation always have the high strength concrete because the whole load acts on column and foundation while the beams and slabs usually have less strength concrete hope you guys understand that how the grades of concrete differentiate from one another and they mostly depends on your construction whether you are making the small scale construction like home or small story building or if you are using the you are making the multi story building or the uh, mega structures like tunnels like bridges then you have to use the high grade of concrete or the high strength of concrete hope you guys understand and subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video